We are going to, first of all, uh, work on the course, work on the textbook. We're going to start on page 13 where we left off. We're going to try and speed it up a little bit. We need to keep moving. We need to get through. It's about time to have a test, so we need to finish a chapter to have a test. And we've got a couple of other interesting things to look forward to. So let's continue where we left off last time. We finished up to Wheeler. Let's just review the different places of articulation. Remember, we're going to be discussing two different ways of describing an articulation. The first one is the place of articulation. The second one is the manner of articulation. We finish going through the places of articulation for which language? For English. There are many other places of articulation we didn't talk about because they're not part of the system of English. They may occur in some situations, but they're extra-linguistic. That means that they're not part of the phonetic or the phonological system of English. For example, I think I mentioned before, we have clicks in English for special purposes like What does that mean in English? Anybody know? When do we use the sound Actually, it could be looking at a pretty girl. It's possible. It's not the one I'm thinking of. But we normally use it in English to tell a horse to get moving. If we want our horse to start galloping or to start moving ahead, we go That means giddy up. Giddy up means telling a horse to move. So that's a click. And it's used in some languages as a regular sound, just like a P or an L. We don't have it as part of our phonological system, but we use it in marginal situations. It's, it's a marginal sound of English, not used for language. So we're only describing the sounds that are formally a part of our phonological system in English, and they are. Let's just read the biao uh, ti, starting with one. One is, it's on page 11, bilabial, and then give the Chinese as well so that we associate the two together so you're sure what each one means. And you know the Chinese as well. So one again, English, Chinese, Shuang Chun, good. Two, and Chinese, Chun Chi, Chun Chi. Labio is Chun, dental is Chi. And then three, we're going to call that rather than dental, for English we'll call it Interdental in Chinese, Chi Jian Yin, good. And four, alveolar, Chi Yin, yeah, it's Chi Yin. And then five, retroflex, Juan Shi, Chao Shi, oh, either one is okay. And six, palato alveolar, palato alveolar, we didn't give that a Chinese name. The palate is uh, right? And alveolar is in. Yeah, we put those two together. I believe the Chinese is uh and in together. And then seven palatal is uh again. Yeah, ing uh. And eight feeler. In Chinese, we usually call it it's rang uh. That's the name of, or that's how you say velar in. Chinese, but in Chinese we often call it shigen or more correctly shihou. We're talking about the tongue here, okay? So long as you know where all of these uh, are in the mouth and you know the Chinese as well, we're going to move on now to the oronasal process. So next reader, please. My name is Alice. Uh, as you can tell from the descriptions of these articulatory gestures, the first two, bilabial and labial dental. No, we're skipping that. We, we summarized that last time. So we're going to move on to the oronasal process. OK, OK. Um, consider the con consonants at the ends of rain, ren, rem. OK, when, and ram, yeah. Uh, you read that very well, but watch out for the word consider. Is that I, is it e or i? It's i. Everybody? 
Because a lot of people in Taiwan say consider. First of all, it's ken, it's a schwa, ken, ken. And then the I is a short i, consider, consider. Everyone try consider. Consider. Not kong, ken, 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 mu the ken. Consider. Very good. Continue. When you say these consonants, you is a susmatsule. It's a pronoun, and a pronoun is what kind of a word? It's a function word, therefore, do we stress it? No. Watch out, because this is a really, really persistent habit in Taiwan English. Watch out for that. So it's not when you say, it's when you say these, when you say, when you say, everybody, when you say, when you say. watch out for that. Whenever you see a pronoun coming, teaching okay? When you say these consonants, and these is another one. <laughs> when you say these consonants, when you say these consonants, say is the, is the what kind of word? say. When you say these consonants, Once more. When you say these consonants by themselves, good. Note that the air is coming out through the nose. In the uh, in the formation of these sounds in sequence, sequence, sequence. Uh -huh. The point of articulatory closure moves forward from velar in rain. 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 Mm -hmm. Through alveolar in rain to bilabial in rem. All right, let's all practice that. Rang is a tough one because a lot of you will probably just say ran. Remember in class when I said for bangs, a lot of people in Taiwan don't say bangs, they say bands. Yeah, bands is jinzi mo yi shi qing. Bangs cai dui, it means liu hai. And here we've got the same sound in rang. Jiu si na yi ge dong ci de guo qi shi. Ring, rang, rang, right. So, rang, rang, make sure that it's, that it's velar and that you're not saying ran. It's not a pao. It's a rang, rang, ang, zang, na, ang. Try rang. Can you feel the back of your tongue touching your soft palate? Can you feel the And then next is the alveolar in ran. If you can sort out rang and ran and say them correctly, then you're doing well. Because in my many years of teaching, this two in Taishi English is a very big problem. Rang, ran. Let's try the two together. Rang, ran. Rang, ran. Many, have, many of you have it correct. The third one is easier, but you have to pay attention because a lot of Taiwanese drop the M, final M in words. So, ram. ram. Rang, ran, ram. Feel what your tongue and lips are doing for each word. Go. Rang, ran, ran. Ram. Very good, continue. In each case, the air is prevented from going out through the mouth, but is able to go out through the nose because the soft palate or velum is lowered. Good, velum. Once more, velum. Velum. Alice? Velum. Good, very good, beautiful reading. I'm very picky, but it was beautiful reading. All right, let's just feel the air coming out of our nose at the end of the three words, rang. Can you hear, feel warm air coming out of your nose? Rang. All right, feel in front of your mouth. Rang. Is there anything coming out there at the end? During ru and a, of course, there's air coming out of the mouth, but for ng, nothing should be coming out of the mouth. So feel rang. ma? Okay, should not. All right, so uh, let's go on, next reader. My name is Wendy. Okay. In most speech, the soft palate is raised. Soft, American the is soft. Right. The soft palate is raised so that there is a velic closure. Good, everyone, velic closure. Velic closure. Right. You notice we have two forms of the adjective, <clears throat> adjective for velar. We have velic here, and there's also another form that we just learned earlier on the page. What is it? 
<clears throat> right. When we're talking about place of articulation, like the back of the tongue makes contact with the soft palate, in that case we'll call it a velar sound. But when we're talking about rang e, nigga, uh, si we say velic. Velic is a German Okay? Got it? They're both adjectives of velar, but they have different uses. Go ahead. When it is lowered and there is an obstruction in the mouth, we say that there is a nasal consonant. 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 Yeah, most of you say consonant, which is British influenced. Also, Dongbu ye yo But let's try to be consistent. Con, con, con. Right, consonant. consonant. There you go. And don't say kang, bu si rang e, bu si ge velar sound. So, kan en dian de en. Consonant. Beautiful, good. Raising or lower, lowering the velum controls Pause. the oral. Why do we pause after velum? It's the subject. It's the subject. Very good. I just uploaded the article about where we pause. So it's not published yet. The subject of that one, at least part of it, is where we pause in a sentence. So please have a look at this. Um, Actually, I didn't put it on the phonetic side. I'll do it later today. It's in freshman English and lab. So please read article number six, and it includes a part about phrasing. All right, that's the end of the subject. Go. Raising or lowering the villum controls the oral nasal, the oral nasal process, the distinguishing factor between oral and nasal sounds. Beautiful. All right, in American, we don't usually say oral. We have what, what is called R coloring. 如果下个音节是R 开头,前个音节就是蓝上这个R的色彩. That's why we call it R coloring. So we say oral, 等于两个R. 第一个R是第一个音节的最后一个音. 第二个R是下一个音节的第一个音. So we don't say oral, it's oral. Oral. Now, it depends on the speaker. Some speakers of American English do separate them more. I've been listening, for example, on ICRT. For example, the word or a word that rhymes with it. I've noticed these two words when spoken by an ICRD, D, ICRT DJ called Mike Woodward. Uh, how would he say them, do you think, listening to what I just said? I say oral, I don't say oral, but I said some speakers separate the two more. So how do you think he would say ling? He says zero, zero, and actually that's fairly common. I've heard it among my teachers and other people. But I say zero, zero, that's the way I say it. There's variation among speakers among American speakers and among people outside of America, of course. Okay, so he would say zero, I say zero. Everyone zero. Zero. He would say hero, I say hero. Nigga arjing Sulaila. Hero. Right. And I don't say oral, I say oral. oral. Everybody oral. oral. Okay, watch that. Try to get used to that. because I think it's more common in America. Let's move on. Next. My name is Sabina. Manners of articulation. At most places of articulation, there are several basic ways in which articulatory gestures can be accomplished. That sounded fine except articulation. Make the y really clear. Articulation. Articulation. Good, yeah. The articulators may close off the oral tract for an instant or a relatively long period. They may narrow the space considerably. Con, remember, Gan Con, considerably. Considerably. Yeah. considerably. Mm -hmm. Once or more, con. Con. Yeah. Considerably. That's good. Or they may simply. Not they. 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 Yeah. They may simply modify the shape of the tract by approaching each other. Approaching each other. Here's another big one. Approaching each other. 
很蛮 typical 的台式英语 ，each 跟 other 都是代名词。So approaching each other 是没有重音的。Everyone approaching each other. Approaching each other. All right. Another one I noticed was,、uh, I think it was modify. Everyone modify. I don't know if that's the one. Let me think a minute. Well, in any case, we have a new biaoti here, and we need to pay attention. Remember, I told you how important section titles are. We have just finished talking about, first of all, places of articulation, then the oral nasal process. That means whether the soft palate is raised, and the passageway to the nose is open or closed. If the oral nasal process, if the soft palate is raised, then The passageway from the lungs to the nose is open or closed. It's closed. It's closed. And if it lowers, then it is open, and then air can come out and makes what kind of a sound? Hmm. Yeah. Nasal sound like this. All right. So that was topic two. Now on topic three, manners of articulation. New topic. Keep in mind, we're starting a new list now. This is very, very important because we haven't really discussed this yet. We've discussed. Places of articulation, almost from the very beginning. Remember our mid-sagittal view of the head. We talked about the different parts of the vocal tract, and that was already kind of an introduction to places of articulation. Okay, oronasal is very short. It's just that one thing about whether it's open or closed. But there's another possibility: air can go out of both at the same time for oronasal. We're now down, down to a little bit. 好像很简单，是 either closed or open, right? But it can be partway open, so that air comes out of both the nose and the mouth. That happens in the case of what we call nasalized vowels, 鼻化母音 not 鼻音鼻音是 hmm hmm hmm. No air is coming out of the mouth. But there's another possibility, 就是口腔跟鼻腔都有空气可以出来 and that is nasalized. Vowels, nasal ja i z e d, and we have them in English. We have them in Mandarin, but they are not phonemic. Woman, 那个往后会讨论那个 phonemic 不 phonemic 的问题 But in Minayu, they are phonemic. So, for example, how do you say 脚上穿的东西 Minayu? A ya, right? A ya. And how do you say? Ang aya, aya. All right, compare those two. Aya, aya. Actually, the vowel is the same. Everything's the same except what? Aya is oral or nasal? It's oral. I said oral. Or what's the o? Or there we go.、Uh, is it oral or nasal? Oral. Good. Now it sounds sounds the way I'm used to it. Okay, and how about an? That's nasalized. It's a nasalized vowel. 那个是鼻，就是鼻子啊，跟那个嘴巴同时有空气会出来。So that's another possibility. It's too early to talk about it, but I talked about it anyway, just so you know. It's not quite that simple. And now our new topic is manners of articulation. That means once we know where the tongue is, what the lips are doing, etc. How we are going to pronounce the sound, the manner in which you pronounce the sound, this is very, very important. So pay attention. Like stop. It's really short, but it's extremely important. And I just finished writing the article on stops. 就刚好校对跟那个润饰完了 So I may show that to you too. It's also pre-publication. It's not supposed to come out until January next year, but it's really important. So I may share it with you soon. Stop. This is a very important point because it's a big problem in Taiwan English.、Uh, so, for example,、um, you may hear something like "bas."、Uh, let's see, what's a good one?、Um, hit me, hit me instead of hit me. Hit me, hit me. 少了一个 stop. This is very common. It's really, really common in Taiwan English. So you need to really pay attention to stops. So let's go ahead. It's short but important. Next reader, please. My name is Grace.、Mm -hmm. Complete closure of articulate. Oh, 标题 Stop.、Mm -hmm. Complete closure of the articulators involved, so that the airstream cannot escape through the mouth. 
There are two possible types of stop. Okay, number one, how do we pronounce O-F? Of. Please don't say oaf, it's of. Of. And the word stop in American in my dialect is not stop, it's stop. Ah. It's an ah sound. Everybody stop. Stop. All right, why don't you keep reading because the first one is the most common kind of stop. Go ahead. Oral stop. No, oral, uh -huh. oral. Oral, yeah. Oral stop. Okay. If, in addition to the articulatory closure in the articulatory. mouth. Articulatory. Articulatory. Huh? What's the ah? It's an uh. Articulatory. Articulatory. That's good. How about if everybody, everybody practices that because it's going to keep coming up over and over and we wanna, don't want to keep uh, correcting that one, one word. Articula. That's a la, not la. Articulatory. Okay, that's kind of slow. Articulatory. Articulatory. Very good. Okay. The soft palate is raised. Soft. Soft. Mm -hmm. The soft palate is raised. 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 Watch, there's a Z in there. Remember the mother raising her children? Raised. Mm -hmm. Is raised. Mm -hmm. So that the nasal tract is blocked off. Blocked off. Blocked off. Then the airstream will be completely obstructed. Good. Okay. Couple of things. Completely, not completely. Completely. Everybody completely. completely. All right, blocked off. This is a right? This is a phrasal verb. When you have a phrasal verb in English, this is a Put it in your notes. This is important. A phrasal verb. For example, get up, put on, think up, dung dung, get off. Those are all phrasal verbs. What do we stress? Take off, think up, turn on. What is stressed? The second one sounds more stressed than the first part, right? But that's because of tonic stress. Remember, 一个片语里面或者一段话里面最后一个中音最高. That's why the second one sounds more stressed, but the first one is stressed too. Like, put on your coat. 如果它不是 tonic stress的话，两个是一样重的，只是因为它自己构成一个一段话，所以后面的那个虚词是有重音，那听起来比较高了。All right? So in this case, block off is 挡起来的意思. Both are stressed, but we're at the end of an utterance, so off is going to be higher. It sounds like it's got more stress. But that's not really stress, that's intonation. This is a tonic stress. But watch out. Usually, you know, we need to put a little pause there so off will sound higher. So blocked off. Everyone blocked off. All right, now how you dodian? Blocked off, blocked off, continuation rise. Blocked off, blocked off. Right, okay, watch that. Pain dong si, phrasal verbs. Remember, both parts are stressed. The second part usually has tonic stress, so it's going to sound higher. It's going to sound like it has more stress. Okay, and once more, completely. Good, continue. All right, let's, let's, cover the meaning as well. So, if in addition to the articulatory closure, closure in the mouth, the soft palate is raised, the nasal tract is blocked off, that means no air can go through the nose. No air can go through the nose because the velum is raised, no air can get into the nasal tract, right? So, that way the airstream will be completely uh, obstructed, not destructed, com uh, completely obstructed in the nose, and then we're going to have pressure building up in the mouth. That's the next part. Pay attention to this part. This pressure is important. pressure. pressure stop. And that's one of the problems with Taiwan English. Okay? We're missing that pressure. Go on. Mm. Pressure in the mouth will build up and... Will build up. Pause. Well. And... Susama. 连接词,连接词之前要停顿. Okay, again, pressure. Pressure in the mouth will build up and an oral stop will be formed. When the articulators come apart, the airstream will be released in a small burst of sound. This kind of sound occurs in... Kind of sound? This kind of sound? Not kind, kind. Kind. Uh-huh. Yeah, pay attention. Can you hear the difference? Kind, kind. This kind of sound, 好像少了个n, kind. Everyone? Kind. Kind. Yeah, in my data, I found lots and lots of this. 
kind or sound, pronounced sound, kind. 或者完全少了鼻音，或者母音有一点鼻音，可是 m 没有了 ，kind, kind. It's hard for me to reproduce, but it sounds really odd to my ears. Okay, so、um, let's see. This kind of sound, 都有那个 n 加 d， 注意鼻音 This kind of sound, 那个 n 稍微强调一点 This kind of sound, everyone. This kind of sound. Not kind, kind, 不对 kind. 所以今天你们顶上去 kind. Kind, 那个 n 不要害羞，那个 n 要念出来。Kind, this kind of sound. This kind of sound. That sounds correct. Okay, again. This kind of sound occurs. Sound, 那个 n 要重一点。Sound. Uh huh. Sound. 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 Yeah, there you go. Occurs in the consonants in the words pi, by, bilabial closure, tie, die. Alveolar closure. Alveolar. Alveolar. Not alveolar. 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 Yeah. Alveolar closure. <laughs> 念的时候你就会恢复原状，所以要强调 e. Alveolar. Alveolar. Yeah. Alveolar closure. Yeah. And tie, guy, velar closure.、Mm? Yeah. Velar. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Let's make sure we understand everything. When the articulators come apart, that's after. Let's say, for example, it's a, a top. Let's just say top. Yeah. So, top. Or we can use. Let's use an initial initial stop. 那个比较清楚。那个词尾的 stop 有另外一个问题。Let's say pi. 啊，用它的例子。So before we say pi, before you can hear anything. 还没有把 p 念出来，有没有觉得？口腔里面有压力。Get ready to say pi, but don't say the p yet. Just get ready to say the p. Everybody say pi without saying i. Just keep it inside. Go. 你们觉得好像在憋气。嘴巴是一个 obstruction. 你的嘴唇是一个 obstruction. So your lips are closed, holding the air back, and because you've already Send some air up there. You're pushing air out, but the lips are keeping the air inside. We get higher air pressure behind your lips. Is that right? This is really, really important. Write this down. This higher air pressure behind the obstruction is probably the key component of a stop. 它最重要的一点就是那个阻碍后面有气压，因为那个阻碍它是把气流挡掉，挡掉了，挡起来了。它出不来，所以呢，它只好在后面，让它就是压力会越来越大，越来越来越重，有没有 ？That's a stop. It has to have that, or it's not really a stop. 没有的话，它就不算 stop. Okay, and that's key for Taiwan English. 因为台式英语词首比较没有这个问题，词尾就有这个问题，非常严重。Okay, so pi. Say pi before. Do it again with so you can feel the pressure, and then we'll say the whole word. So everybody, get ready to say it, but don't say the vowel. Don't let go of the p. Go. Okay. <laughs> Bing Sheila. Now let's say the whole word, but say it slowly. Pi. Could you feel that you had air pressure there, and then you let it go, and it sort of exploded? Is that right? Let's quickly make a comparison with Taiwan Mandarin, with just Mandarin. I don't think it's much different from mainland Mandarin on this point. So. 派遣的派，对不对？苹果派的派 ，same word actually borrowed from English. So say 派 in Mandarin. Good. Compare the English 派 to the Mandarin 派 I'll do the two myself, and then you try and see if it's about the same, and see if you can tell a difference. So apple pie. Just listen and watch my mouth. Apple pie. Apple pie. 苹果派。苹果派 ，apple pie， 苹果派 ，Are they the same sound? They're produced in the same way. Manner of articulation is the same, right? Place of articulation is the same. There is a little difference. What is it? What about it? That's right. You have stronger aspiration in Mandarin. 就是中文，气比较大 
So English pie. Mandarin, pie. Pie. If you put your hand in front of your mouth, you can feel it. Apple pie. Pingwo pie. P, p. You can feel that it's a bigger explosion. It's more aspiration. Otherwise, they're very similar. So keep that in mind. That's one difference between the two languages. The sounds are very, very similar, but you have more aspiration in Mandarin. And there's a theoretical reason for it, but we'll talk about that another day. All right, so now we're looking at pairs of words. We call these minimal pairs. <coughs> you probably learned this in Introduction to Linguistics. Minimal pairs are pairs of words that differ in only one sound. So we have pi and bi. They're the same except for the initial stop. We call these minimal pairs. 最小对比的一对词。最小对比 is the Chinese. OK. So let's compare them. These are now, what is the difference between the two? This one's voiced, this one's voiceless. Now, because you also have a similar pair in Mandarin, and I said that pingua pai, the pai, gen ying the pai, xiang de. But bai, we have bai bai the bai, right? Is that right in Chinese? Bai bai the bai. So, is that really like English? That's a complicated question. It's going to take some explaining to tell you what the difference is. Normally, there is no difference between the two. Now, that's shocking because the textbooks will tell you that. 英文的那个 goodbye 的bye是有声, right? 中文的 bye bye 的bye是无声。然后pie是无声送气. Write that in your notes so you get the system clear. 英文的 bye有声不送气. pie无声送气. 中文是 bye bye 的bye是无声不送气. 英文是有声, 中文是无声。然后派是无声送气. So it's the by sound that's different in English and Chinese, but it's not always different. Okay, let me explain. Bye uh, bye the bye, bye. We can also say bye. For example, uh, bye bye troubles, bye bye troubles, 没有问题。那是什么时候跟中文很像是句首的时候。它是句子或是一段话的第一个音的时候,英文的有声的b常常是无声。Bye, bye. If it's voiced, how does it sound? Listen carefully. Bye. Can you all hear clearly? I'm going to use the microphone for this so you can get it. <clears throat> okay, this is the Chinese. Bye. Right. In English, we can also say bye at the beginning of an uh, beginning of an utterance, but we can also voice it. We can say bye. Bye. Do you hear it? Bye. Nigga, nigga, so voicing. So, Yingwen so Liang Zong fine do yo. Gun Zong Wen Yang the nigga fine, so Tu Xian Zai Ju, Ju so, what's the Yituan Hua the Diga Zi the Shaho? Bye. Bye bye troubles. Bye. But we can also voice it. Yang Hun Kui the Hua, Shang Nigga Bao Xing Wen the Shaho. 会把很多音念得特别标准啊,就 bye也可以. Now you can hear the difference with Chinese because I can say bye in English and it's perfectly okay. But can you say, 我要去 bye bye? 不是很怪吗? 不是很怪吗? Alright, it sounds strange in Mandarin because the Mandarin sound is not voiced. 由此你可以知道中文的b跟英文的b是怎么不一样。just the voicing, the buton. Now, it's not as though Chinese in general, Hanyu, uh, voicing. Many dialects have it. For example, Minayu Joyola. For example, Hung Kwai, Hung Kan, Tayu Zemashua. Yobai, right? Nigga's the voiced. Nigga Jo Man Shang Yin Wen, the Buman Shang Yang, because it's Tabu Dojo's Nigga Dali. Bai, Bai, Susi. Okay, that's voiced. So keep these in mind. We've got different things going on in each language variety. English is one way. It has two possibilities. Chinese is only one. It's not one. Minan is one. And it's a 
一个因为或者因素在闽南语里面。All right, it may sound confusing, but at least you have an introduction to it now, so you will be more ready for it when it comes. Let's continue with oral stop. Go ahead. Figure 1.8 shows the positions of the vocal organs in the in the bilabial stop in bi. Stop. Stop. Mm -hmm. These sounds are called these. These. Mm -hmm. This sound. No. These. Everyone, these. 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 Yeah, don't say these sounds. It's it's not this. It's these sounds. Everyone, these sounds. These sounds. Sounds. <laughs> 刚练过的 These sounds. These sounds. These homies are Z, but it's S, but it's these. It's these. Watch the Z. These sounds. These sounds. That's good. Okay. These these sounds are called sounds. Sound. Z. Sound. 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 IPA's alphabet. See inside the front cover of this book. Okay, very good. Let's just look there quickly because when we want to refer to a sound, <clears throat> you look on the inside front cover and the inside back cover. Actually, the most important ones are on the inside back cover. This is the IPA alphabet. So inside of the back cover. We'll refer to that a lot when we're looking for a sound, place, and manner of articulation. 通通都都那个整理出来给你了 All right. So、uh, pressure builds up in the mouth. We have an oral stop. 这是口腔的一个塞音 In Chinese, stop is 塞阻塞的塞塞子的塞就是澡盆那个塞子可是念塞阻塞的塞 A stop is called 塞音 That means there's some kind of closure somewhere in the oral tract. 然后呢，可能就是有一阵子那个气流被阻挡起来，有气压变大了，然后又把它放掉了。有时候不放掉就是 ，OK， 像词尾不放掉。These sounds are called plosives， 爆音，中文叫爆音。All right, oral stop. Make sure you've got that clear in your head. Uh, <clears throat> this is very basic and very important. Next reader, we're going to read about nasal stops. And before we read it,、uh, I want to clarify that nasal stops are not stops. These are not stops. They call them stops for convenience. 这是一个方便，可是鼻音根本就不是个舌音，它不是。课本这样写是因为 phonologist 的关系，他们希望有个很整齐、漂亮、对称的一个系统，他把它称为 stop。Push stop. So in the future, we will only call them nasals. We won't call them nasal nasal stops because, in my opinion, and in Peter Latifoged's opinion, I discussed this with him at length、uh, when we、mm, were talking over email some years ago. Nasal stops are not stops because I just told you the important thing in a stop is a buildup of air pressure behind an obstruction. Is that right? All right. Nasals. An example of a nasal is. Hmm. Do we have any buildup of air pressure at all? None. It's constantly coming out at a steady rate. Therefore, it is not a stop. Going by my definition. Now, it's not just me. Many people agree. Phoneticians tend to agree. Phonologists like to call them stops. So we just put it in there for the phonologists, I believe. And <clears throat> we have another term that I'm going to introduce, just for convenience. There's a 有两个观念是对立的，一个是 stop， 跟它相反的，跟它对立的是 continuant。Because a stop means we've got an obstruction, a buildup of air pressure, and then eventually release of the air pressure. That's a stop. If we have a sound that is constant， 它一直持续，那个音质都不变。Stop 是有始，有中间，有终，对不对？有个开始，有个中间，有个终止的地方。三个不三三个阶段都不一样的，可是 continuous 它始终都是一致的。For example, mm, is there any change?、Mm, do you hear any change? It's constant. 它很顺畅，一直维持一样的一个音值，气流也不断。That's called a continuous. 
That's why nasal stops are not stops because they are continuance. Stop can continuance, you know, It doesn't have to be a nasal. For example, listen to this sound. See if it sounds consistent to you and see if it has an even flow of air. Would you call that a stop or a continuant? It's a continuant. It's noisy. It isn't humming like an N, but it is also a continuant. So that is obviously not a stop, and our book won't try to tell us that that's a stop. But I'm just saying that we have this notion of continuant to classify these sounds that are constant, that maintain their quality, that don't change, have a steady airstream. Continuance. Okay? It's not here a single thing. It's just a single continuant. And then stop is a stop. Can you This is very, very important. That's why I'm taking time on it. Let's continue. I'm Samantha. Nasal stop. If the air is stopped in the oral cavity. Oral. Oral, oral cavity. Oral cavi cavity. Mm -hmm. But the soft palate is down so that air can go out through the nose. The sound produced is a nasal stop. Sounds of this kind occur at the beginning of the words my, bilabial closure, and my, alveolar closure, at, and at the end of the word sang, velar closure. Mm -hmm. All right, now, he gave you an initial M for an example of a bilabial nasal, my, and ni for an alveolar closure. He also puts the nasal at the beginning, ni. What does ni mean, by the way? Close. It means close. The day is nigh. That means the day is fast approaching. The day is very close. Nigh, 就是很接近的意思。呃，现在比较少用。And at the end of the word in sang, why did he suddenly put the nasal at the end of the word in his example? 为什么会放词尾？ There is no word in English that starts with ng. In English, a velar nasal cannot be the beginning of a word. We have a few exceptions because we have some words coming in from other languages. The only one I can think of offhand, and it's one I keep forgetting how to pronounce. This is Yunnan Xing. Anybody know which name it is? 软 ，Yeah， 这个是软。Nuan， Nuan， Yeah， I think it's Nuan. That's the way we say it. I think so. Yeah， Nuan. I I know an American whose name last name is this. And that's how you knew it. Very good. Because I keep forgetting because it doesn't sound like it looks. We can't start a word with ng. So for me, it would be Nguyen. But people do say Nuan. You're right. Because they can't pronounce an ng at the beginning of a word in theory. In practice, though, it is possible. For example, sing a song. Because of linking, what do we have here? Sing a song. Do we now have a syllable that starts with ng? We do. It's due to linking. That's anyway, linking the guan xi. Was anyway, if we wanted to say a by itself, nobody would say ng, right? Nobody would say that, and they probably couldn't do it without practice. But in linking, we will have sounds. Lots of sounds start with ng. Sing a song, sing a song. So with linking, it's possible. Lots of things are possible with linking that aren't possible without linking. All right. So the reason he puts it at the end is because ng does not occur at the beginning of a word or syllable in English. Let's go on. Figure one point nine shows the position of the vocal organs during the bilabial vocal nasal organs. Vocal organs. Uh huh. During the bilabial nasal stop in my. Apart from the presence of a velic opening, there is no difference between this stop and the one in by. Between this stop, your two B. Between this stop mm -hmm. and the one in the one. By, the one. 不是 the， 因为 one 是母音开头吗 ？No, it starts with what sound? W, right? So it's just the. It's not the. Go ahead. The one in by, shown in figure 1.8. All right, let's look at 1.8 very quickly so we know what they're talking about. It's at the top of page 16. And what's he talking about? So, figure uh, 1.9 shows the position of the vocal organs during the bilabial nasal stop. And my 1.9, what do you see there? The two 
Look at 1.9. We started with that. What do we see in the picture? 1.9. The two what are together? The two lips are together, right. Upper lip and lower lip are together to make m, my. In addition, pay attention to another thing in the diagram. What else do you notice that makes it my instead of by? The velum is down, it's open. So the air is going out through the noise, uh, noise through the nose, all right? So m mm is figure 1.9. And then in the next one, we have, or not the next one, the previous one, we have by. So that also is bilabial. The two lips are together, but what's the difference? The velum is raised, so the air comes out through the, through the, Nothing. Nothing's coming out. <laughs> it's not going through the nose. And it's temporarily not coming out of the mouth, but it will go through the mouth when we release the stop. So right now it's and it's going to be by. Okay, continue. Um, although both the nasal sounds and the oral sounds can be classified as stops, the term stop by itself is almost always used by phoneticians to indicate an oral stop, and the term nasal to indicate a nasal stop. Thus, the consonants at the beginning of the words they words. 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 Yeah. They and they would be called an alveolar stop and an alveolar nasal, respectively. All right. So there is what I just told you. We use stops only Basically, as phoneticians, we use stop only for what kind of stops? We use the word stop only for what kind of stops? Oral, not oral, please. Or, oral, that's right. And if it's a so-called nasal stop, we'll just call it a nasal. That's all. So um, here it says, um, yeah, so it says that for day, we'll call that an alveolar stop, the d, and then ne, we'll just call it an alveolar nasal, that's all. Go on. Although the term stop may be defined so that it applies only to the prevention of air escaping through the, the mouth, it is commonly used to imply a complete stoppage of the airflow through both the nose and the mouth. Right. So the reason that they like to call them nasal stops, the phonologists mainly, is because they're saying, 那个嘴巴反正堵住了,那就是个stop,不是全部挡起来了吗?哎,but the air可以那个偷偷地从鼻子出来啊。So that's why we say it's not a stop, but they say our definition is 只要是口腔,气流是完全堵住的,那个就是stop。这是个定义的问题。This is a definition problem, problem of definition. So we're going with the phoneticians definition, not with the phonologist definition in this course, okay? But be aware of the other definition. And it's time for a break. Let's take a break. A couple questions that came up during the break. Uh, first of all, Karen asked is, when we have a cold and our nose is stuffed up, you would think that we would not have a nasal voice, but our, our voice sounds nasal when we have a cold. Karen, where are you? There you are. Is that your question? And there is a reason for that. Because when your nose is stuffed up, remember what kind of tissue do we have? in the nasal cavity. What kind of tissue do you remember? We call it spongy. Spongy tissue. 海绵,组织,就是像海绵的组织, sponge, S-P-O-N-G-E, Y, spongy. We have spongy tissue. That means it's very easy for it to, to change, to be affected by various factors. And one of them is, if your nose is stuffed up, you have mucus together together with that spongy tissue, right? Mucus is what? It's just a bit, right? It's a whole bit in the air conditioner. So what's going to happen is the resonance qualities of your nasal cavity are going to change. When we speak, we use resonances in our mouth. Resonance is a resonance. We are not really understanding the resonance. Maybe in the next year, we will speak very well. But because there is a mouth, so if I talk like this, I talk like this, 是不是效果不一样? 
，我把那空间限制住了，变成这么大，那就是刚好他喜欢的频率会被加强。So here's one sound. Here's a different sound. 那是因为这个空间使这个原来的声音起了变化。Is that right? 对吗 ？All right. That has actually that's very very important. When you're talking about how we make vowels, 母音其实完全就是靠这些共鸣发的。那是下学期会学的。Now, nasal sounds have their own particular resonances. 那有海绵组织的那个鼻腔也会有这种共鸣，对不对？因为它的那个空间的大小跟内容，它里面的那个那个呃呃性质的关系，会使那个经过它的声音。有某一种共鸣，跟刚刚那个示范的那个样子类似 ，right? I'll understand. 因为它是一个空间，只要是声音经过它，那个空间会使那个声音有点变化。Now for nasal sounds, this is a nasal sound. Hmm, we know that. That's 我现在目前没有感冒 ，all right? You understand what that means? 那看我是但愿不会发生这种事情 ，OK? 我我有关健康的东西，我不敢这样子说 ，OK， 要不然就是赶快，赶快消灾哈 ，OK， 啊、uh, ，So， 经过这个空间的时候，它这个共鸣会使它有点变化。When you have a cold， 里面的那个那个那个那个鼻腔哦，它的性质变了，它变得更饱满了，对不对？有个另外一个液体在里面，使它跟原来的那个性质不一样。So even when we can't get air through our nose because it's all plugged up, we still have a resonance coming from the nose, and that's why it seems like you have a nasal voice when you have a cold. But it's really an a nasal voice. A means 没有是没有鼻音，可是其实是有鼻音。你听到的是那个起了变化那个鼻腔的声音。Karen, does that make sense? Yeah. That's the reason. Because when you have a cold, it's all stuffed up. 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 Okay, so in English we have these two sounds. One is voiced, one is voiceless. B and p, by and pi. The problem is, it's the b is not always voiced. B is never aspirated. 它都不送气，这是这是固定的。可是有时候它有声，有时候它无声。So boy, it's better with the microphone. Boy, boy. 我可以念的就是最标准的念法是有声，可是经常是发语的时候，就刚开始一句话的第一个音的时候，我们就是无声。Like I'll say, boy, it's hot today, or boy, it's chilly today. Boy, I don't say boy, I say boy. 只要是一句话一段话的第一个音的时候，就是 B D G 是无声的，通常。这是很特别的，你要学习要来搞清楚。It's very confusing for me. It took me about twenty years to figure it out. 因为课本都会说英文是 b 是有声 ，p 是无声，跟中文很不一样。b 是无声 ，p 也是无声加送气。It's so confusing because Chinese b and p sound very much like English b and p. Is that right? 真的很像。那是因为有时候是真的一样。Okay. So in theory. B is voiced, no aspiration, but sometimes it's voiceless if it's the first sound of an utterance. P in English is voiceless plus aspiration, 无声加送气，跟中文一样 ，almost 一样。那国语呢是 B P M F 的 B， 一般来说的班，那是无声 ，because we don't say 班，那是不对的，不可能，所以它算是无声 ，it's voiceless。那 p 呢也是 voiceless 加上送气，可是送气的长度比英文强很多。pi pi 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 有有喷麦啊 ，right? So is that clear? It's confusing, but if you work it out in your head, 
it will make sense of a lot of the things in your textbooks and what you hear. 因为原来我觉得课本写的跟我所听到的是有很大的出入，因为英文的本真的是常常跟中文的不一样的，这是原因。句子第一个音的时候，它就是一样的。虽然它理论上是有声，中文是无声。Does that make sense now? This took me a very long time to figure out, and it confused me for a long time until I sat down and finally collected all the data and figured it out, and then it suddenly made sense. The main missing piece of information was at the beginning of an utterance, b and d and g are usually not voiced. 什么时候有声呢?两边夹子有声的音的时候, for example, about 无声,可是about就有声,因为两边是有声的. Got it? About是一阵病, about, but about, about, got it? So, 英文的不得格，只要是前面有有一个有声的音，它通常它基本上也会变成有声。前面没有一个有声的音的话，它可能就没有了，就不就是无声。Alright, this is confusing, but if you get it clear, it will really make a lot of sense out of things that didn't make sense before. Okay, any questions? Is it clear or not? Do you get it, or are you totally confused? A little confused. <laughs> Why don't we leave it for now? Just keep in mind this is a system. English, voiced, sometimes voiceless. This is voiceless, aspiration. Chinese, voiceless, no aspiration. Voiceless, lots of aspiration. Okay? We need to continue on in the textbook. So, we're moving on now. We've covered two manners of articulation. What are they? Right. In the textbook it says oral stops and nasal stops. We're just going to call them stops and nasals. So we've covered stops and nasals so far. Next is... Close approximation of two... Oh, you need to talk louder. Okay. My name is Zoe. Zoe, yeah. Close approximation of two articulators so Articu that articulators. Right, and close. It's not close. Here's JG. Once more. Close. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that the air stream is partially ob obstructed and turbulent airflow is produced. Now, they put it in parentheses, but it's very important, and this is probably what you're going to need to know for a test. That means that Lianga Fine Chi Guan, for example, it could be your lower lip and your upper teeth. They get very, very close and they make a lot of noise. Turbulent airflow. is a turbulent airflow. So if two articulators get very close together and then you blow air through them, it's going to make a lot of noise. That's called a fricative. In Chinese, it's called cha yin, cha he ban de cha. Mo cha de cha. Okay? So, close approximation. Hu xiang hen jie jin de, jiu shi liang ge fa yin qi guan, hu xiang hen jie jin. Ha qi liu bei nong de hen luan, yi ge luan liu, let's call it that. Turbulent air in a plane, we call that turbulence, jiu shi ge luan liu, ta chan sheng luan liu. Ran hou you luan liu de shi hao, jiu hui chan sheng Zaoyin, noise, zaoyin. And remember we talked about noise. What's the difference between noise and a sound with just one pitch? With noise, we have many, many different pitches at the same time. Let's go on. The mechanism involved in making these slightly hissing sounds may be likened to that involved when the wind whistles around a corner. All right. We all know that from typhoons. When there's a typhoon, what kind of noise do you hear coming through your windows? Coming through your windows, is that right? 
So when he's talking about wind whistling around a corner, it's going around the corners of the openings in your window, the cracks in your window. So that's the mechanism. 就是用这个机制, uh, mechanism is 机制 in Chinese, to produce this sound. 就两个固体的东西很接近,然后气流会通过它中间的那个空隙,产生乱流。Go on. The consonants in phi, vi, labial, dental, thigh, by dental, saizu, alveolar, and shy, palatal, alveolar are examples of fricative sounds. Figure 1.10 illustrates one illustrates illustrates mm -hmm. one pronunciation of the palatal alveolar fricative consonant in shy. Note that note the narrowing of the vocal tract between the blade of the tongue and the back part of the alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge. <coughs> Alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge. Yeah. The higher pitch sounds with a more obvious hiss, such as those in Sai Shai, are more sometimes called <coughs> sibilants. Very good. Call, called. <coughs> Everyone called. All right. Where did he tell us to look? Figure 1.10. It's on page 17. And what do we see? Pay attention to these figures because you're going to have to identify sounds based on drawings like this in the exercises. 习题里面,你要看图,然后你要讲出这是什么音,它发的是什么音。所以要很仔细的来观察这些图,okay? Now, in 1.10, you can see we've got the blade of the tongue is close to the back of the alveolar ridge. 舌叶很接近齿音的后面。so that's why we call it palatoalveolar. We could say postalveolar, Everyone clear on that? Just And then we blow out air. And that's to make the sound in what word? Shy. And this kind of a sound is called a Tying, fricative, fricative. And don't say fricative. Some of my students did that. Now, T is a song chi. Fricative, not fricative. All right, so fricative, fricative. What are some of the other fricatives in English? Go back to our paragraph. Starting from the front of the vocal tract, we have phi. Phi, which means something like guys. All right, phi and vi, jing zheng. Then we have this is the fourth line from the bottom on page 14. And what else do we have? Thai, da tui, and thai, and then sai, and zu here, the si and z, and then sh, and also zhi. He didn't give you an example of zhi. Zhi is a little less common at the beginning of a word, just like ng, hen sao, zai ci shao hui chu xian. Oh, zi bu hui chu xian de. For example, genre. 文学里面,你们要学文类,对不对? We have it, however, in the middle of a word like measure. Right? Measure. Okay? Um, these are fricatives. So everyone clear now? Tying fricatives. Stops, nasals. Fricatives. Next one is approximants. Go. Thank you. I'm, I'm Lindsay. Mm -hmm. uh, approximant. A gesture in which one articulator is. One going articulator. Be on one articulator. That's Taiwan English. One, one articulator. Articulator. One articulator is close to another, but without the vocal tract to being narrowed to such an extent that a turbul turbulent airstream is produced. All right, this is a very important definition because it tells you really everything you need to know. And being in parentheses, you may think it's not important, but every bit of it's important. Uh, another thing, pronunciation, we don't say without the, it's without the. There's a stop at the end of without, that's really important. It's not without the, without the, try Good, all right. Now, content. A gesture, it's a gesture. 
in which one articulator is close to another. When did we just talk about one articulator being close to another? With what kind of manner of articulation? Fricatives, right? Fricatives, 两个器官非常的接近，然后产生什么？乱流，那个气流会变乱流。is that right? A turbulent airstream. Now we have something very similar. We still have articulators coming close to get to each other, but do they get really, really close to each other? 它不是非常的接近，它是有一点距离。它跟fricative很像，可是 fricative 是非常的接近，接近到空气通过的时候就是有乱流。这两个是有。有蛮接近，可是没有近到会有乱流。That's the definition. That's how we distinguish between fricatives and approximants. Fricatives 会产生乱流, approximants 有声的时候是没有乱流，无声的时候还是有乱流。可是那个是后面你要讲的。有声，因为我们要学的所有的approximants都是有声。所以有声的approximate,那个气流通过的时候,虽然两个器官很接近,没有接近到会产生乱流,所以很顺畅。For example, listen. Yeah, yeah. Do you hear that kind of turbulence like we have with your空气的乱流?可是 you, yes, yeast. 有没有那种空气的乱流?有没有听到? Yeah, yes or no? Louder, please. Can you hear it? If you're not sure, then I'll have to show you again. So, you've got noisy air coming out, right? But how about for you? You. Can you hear that noisy air coming out? No. So, that's an approximate. That's how we distinguish approximates from fricatives. Everyone clear on that? That's important, call so call. So make sure you got it clear. All right. Um, go ahead. In saying the first sounding yet, oh, uh, the word is yat, yat. Yot. Yot. Mm -hmm. yat. yat. Mm -hmm. The front of the tongue is raised toward the palatal area of the roof of the mouth, but it does not come close enough for a fricative sound to be produced. Uh, the consonant not the 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 consonant in the word we uh, once more your s. The consonants. The consonants. Right. In the word we, approximation between the lips and in the velar region, and for some people, in the word raw, approximation in the in the alveolar region are also examples of approximants. Right. Region comes from French, but we don't say region, we say region. Region. Yeah. Regional is the adjective. So he gave you two examples, no, three examples of approximants. What are they? I just gave you y as in you. Nigga sig approximate y. IPA is j. Shall she j. Then we have what? What else? W, the W sound. W. Those are your shung that they're all voiced. So y, you, w, we. And for some people, not everybody, because some people might say raw. But for me, it's definitely an approximate. I say a raw, rrr, that funny American rrr. All right, and the vowel is ah, not ro. Everyone, raw. R A W is raw. So, rrr, is anything really touching anything that's making the sound? Rrr. No. That's an approximate. The third one, no, sorry, the fourth one that they didn't tell you. Here, they're going to tell you in the next part. It's a special kind of approximate. Next. My name's Yuxian. Uh, letter approximate. Obstruction of the air stream at the point along the center of the oral tract. Or, uh -huh. Oral. 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 Yeah. Oral tract with... with uh, with incomplete closure between one or both sides of the tongue and the roof of the mouth. All right, watch the th, the, the, not the. the. And the other thing is incomplete. Was it incomplete? Incomplete. Incomplete. It's a All right, remember the part in parentheses is especially important. Obstruction, si zong zu ai, zu da, of the airstream. It's a qi liu bei zu, 
阻碍了。At a point along the center of the oral tract. Now, we have an obstruction with laterals, but it's not a stop. And this confused me in the early years too, because they're always talking about 两个器官很接近，可是没有很接近。But try to say ooh, l, just like 中文的快乐的乐 ooh. Is something touching something? What's touching what? The tip of the tongue is touching your alveolar ridge, right? So that always confused me. How can it be an approximate when something is touching, right? This is like stop, isn't it? But the reason is because we're talking about the areas to the side of the center of the tongue, 就是舌头的两边，气气流还是很顺畅的 ，right? Oh, 它也没有噪音 It's not 有这个音 but not in English normally. So we have a very smooth flow of air from the two sides, or sometimes it's one side. So it 经常是只有一边会漏气，另外一边没有，或者两边或者其中一边都一样是所谓的 lateral approximate. 因为顺畅，虽然有个地方是完全有阻挡、阻挡有阻碍。可是两边气流很顺畅 ，so this is a kind of approximate， 没有噪音的。And the Chinese is called 边音，旁边的边。Approximate in Chinese is 接近音。It sounds very literal, and it is. 接近音 is approximate. So remember， 色音、鼻音、擦音、接近音、边音，它是接近音的一种。It's the fourth approximate here. Everyone clear now what we're talking about? All right. Keep in mind that English has more than one kind of L. We're talking about the first kind. It's called a clear L. 英文有两种 L， 一个是母音前的 L， 一个是母音后的 L。现在讨论的是母音前的 L. Okay. It's called a clear L. Clear, 清晰的 clear. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. Say the word "lie" and note how the tongue touches touches near the center of the alveolar ridge. Along the initial consonant, and note how, despite the closure formed by the tongue, air flows out freely over the side of the tongue. Because there is no stoppage of the air, air, and not even any fricative noises, these sounds are classified as approximants. All right. If I hadn't explained that to you, I bet this would have been very confusing to you and pretty. Opaque, right? 大概不太透明。可是现在都清楚了 ，right? Did everybody understand it? Because we had an explanation first before we read it. We call them approximants because what? Two reasons. There's no stoppage of the air. 气流没有被阻断。第一个，啊，第二个呢？没有噪音 ，no fricative noises. That's why we classify this as an approximant.、Mm, all right, go on. The consonants in words. Con, 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 consonants. Con, 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 consonants. 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 Not con. Ah. Consonants. Con. Con. Not. You're saying con, con, con. We don't want to use the vowel sound. We want to use the vowel sound. Con. Con. N. 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 Con. 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 No. You need to practice. Write it down. Put it in your notes. We'll practice it later. N. 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 Say N. 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 Okay. Just you now. N N 点 right N 那把那个 N 放在 K 的后面 K N Kong Don't go down. You you can't just 习惯 but that's typical Taiwan English. But you need to work on it. I mean this is confusing to English speakers. So K N just say K N K N Yeah K N K N say faster and then you'll have it. K N K N Kong There you don't change it. Kong K N K N Kong Kong Okay. Kong, kong. I think you got it. You need to practice. That's all. Yeah. The, um, uh, the consonants in words such as lie, left, are alveolar lateral approximants, but they are usually called just alveolar. Called, not called. Called. Ca called. Uh, yeah. But they are usually called just alveolar laterals. Their approximate status being status. Well, status is okay. I say status. Status. Yeah. Status being assumed. You may be able to find out which side of the tongue is not in contact with the roof of the mouth by holding the 
the consonant position. Ka, what? just try to say ah. Ka. Uh-huh. The con, the ka. You're getting it. You're getting it. The consonant yeah. position. The consonant position while you breathe inward. The tongue will tongue. The tongue will feel colder on the side that is not in contact with the roof of the mouth. Very good. All right. So remember, in theory, if our bodies were really symmetrical, our bodies in theory are symmetrical, right? You could draw a line down the middle of our bodies, and then we have two legs, two feet, two arms. But when you buy shoes, are your feet exactly the same size? Some of you are. For, I don't know. For some of you, maybe they are, but for me, they're not. 一只脚很合脚，另外一只脚太大或者太小。Does that happen to you when you buy shoes? Some sometimes. All right. Your feet are usually not the same size. Your arms are not exactly the same length. One eye is a little bigger than the other eye. Woman, then, okay. Woman's 审美观念是对称是最美的 ，but few of us are completely symmetrical. 我们大部分没有那么对称 ，and one reason for that is Different sides of the brain. Well, if it's the left brain or the right brain, controlling that side of the body, it and the other side, it shallow, not the same. So one side of your body, listening to the left side of your brain, will be a little different from the part listening more to the right side of your brain. So we often just use a different accent, and you will find that with the pronunciation of the lateral u. In theory, air can come out of both sides of the tongue, but in practice, many of us just use one side of the tongue. So. Uh, first of all, say "ooh." Good. No vowel. Just "ooh." Now you feel a little warm air coming out, but you will find out which side the air usually comes out when you suck in air. Say so, "say ooh" and then suck in air. So "ooh," "ooh," "ooh." Can you feel cool air on both sides of your tongue? Many of you maybe will have it on both sides. Some of you may feel it only on the right side or only on the left side. And when you're doing this exercise, 你可能会刻意啊让它很均匀很对称 But in in actual practice, 通常是一边 So if I let air fill up my cheeks, 就像那个松鼠一样，让那个脸颊那个充满空气的话 Let's see what happens. <laughs> 哎、欸，这次两边都有，可是我比较偏右边。我是比较偏右边，两边有时候有，可是我偏右边。You can try it yourself. 就是你同时有 aspiration. See? 右边，对不对 ？So 我是比较偏右边，有时候是两边。You can try it yourself. All right, that's laterals. And Just like with nasals, we don't call them stops. We don't even consider them stops. This is one way. With laterals, we are more careful not to refer to them as approximate. Because lateral, so far, is just approximate. It's the same. And nasal stops are different. Nasal stop, I think, is not a stop. But this is approximate. We are just here to talk about it because it's the most common. So we'll just call them laterals. But when you write the exam, you can write approximate because it's the approximate. All right, we're done with that. Now, additional consonantal gestures. 有一些额外的，这些是基本的 manners of articulation， 不同的发音的方式，基本的讲完了。可是有一些额外的也很重要。Let's go on. My name is Jenny. Good. Additional consonantal gestures. In this prelim preliminary chapter. It is not necessary to discuss all of the manners of articulation used in the various languages of the world, nor, for that matter, in English. Good. For that matter, there's a stop. For that matter. For that matter. Yeah. In English. In English. Lianyin. In English. Everyone in English. In English. Lianyin 的话你就不会乱讲，不会讲错。In English. In English. Very good. Okay. But it might be useful to know the terms trill. Sometimes called roll and tap. Sometimes pause. 那个是连接词，停。And tap. Sometimes called flap. All right. Let's look at these few words first. Roll is a 俗称 for trill. For example, he rolls his R's. Okay, very, very. He rolls his R's. 有些人真的是有，可是在英文里面是比较少见。有是有，可是通常是个人或者某一个地区的。The phonetic term we're going to use is trill, and 
that's in phonetics it's called chan yin, chan dou, the chan, chan dou, the chan, chan yin. In Chinese you normally say da is that right? Ah, wo bu hui da yeah. So da is the su chan yin, chan yin is uh, the phonetic term. And the second one is tap. And tap in Chinese is shan dian de shan, shan yin, shan yin, just like the T in water. You can say water, but in American we usually say water. Ah, this is shi jian dian xia shi yin, ma san jiu li kai le, that's called a tap, shan yin. So chan yin trill, shan yin tap. Sometimes called flap. Now, I think that Professor Johnson prefers the word flap. I don't because flap is ling wai zhong yin. In phonetics, we need this word. But that is ling wai yin. So listen to a tap and then a flap. A tap is ada, ada, and a flap is ada, ada. So the hand is raised up and then it opens. That is called a flap. All right. However, in American usage, it is the usual usage. It is not called tap. It is called flap. So you need to know this. It is very confusing. And I think Professor Johnson prefers flap. Let's go on. Chan tip trills occur in some forms occur. of occur occur mm -hmm. in some forms of Scottish in English. In some forms. In some forms mm -hmm. of Scottish English in words such as rai and ro. Rai, ro. Some forms of Scottish English. 不是说只要是苏格兰英语都一定有，有一些有r. Okay. Tabs. In which the tongue makes a single tap against the alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge. Alveolar ridge. Good. Occur in the middle of the word, such as pity in many forms of American. Ah, 停一下，因为接续词之前停顿。In many forms of English, uh, American English. All right. So I don't say pity. In Taiwan English, you often hear students say, "What a pity." 母音也不对，那个 t 我们通常没有这么念。Pity, pity, pity. That's the American way. All right. So, look at the definition of tap because it's so common in American English. You need to be familiar with it. How do you make a tap? What's the definition? The tongue makes a single tap. 就是舌头，舌尖点一下齿龈，一次。That's the definition. 只碰一次 ，then it's a tap. Water, 点一下就没有了。But if I say rai, very, 那至少三次以上，那就是一个 trill. That's the difference. Okay, 考试大概也会考。So trill is at least three times. A tap is just once. Now, what if you do it twice? No definition. I have no word for that. Okay. So pity, that's a tap. Sometimes called a flap. Next. I'm Alex. The production of some sounds. Of some sounds, some is 某一些是很强调，虽然 some 是一个虚词，可是因为有对比关系 ，some sounds are like this, but but what other sounds are like that? Some are like this, others are like that. 这是有对比关系，所以要念的有重音。Okay. The production of some sounds involves more than one of these manners of articulation. More than one of these matters, uh, manners, one more, th more than one of these are manners of articulation. Mm -hmm. Say the word cheap and think about how you make the first sound. First sound. First sound. Good. That's clear. Mm. At the beginning, the tongue becomes up. Mm? Uh, the tongue comes up to make contact with the back part of the of the alveolar ridge to form a stop closure. Stop closure. Stop closure. Good. This contact is then slackened. Slackened means fang song. Slackened so that there is a fricative at the same place of articulation. Mm -hmm. Same. The same. Good. This kind of combination of combination. A combination. Mm -hmm. Of a stop, of a stop immediately followed by a fricative, is called an affricate. In this case, in this case, in this case, a palatal alveolar or post alveolar affricate. Affricate. 这是一个名词，名词 a t e 词尾的字通常是 at， like graduate， 动词是 at， graduate， 
He graduated, he's a graduate Africate. It's a Africated Dandongsi, okay? Africate. Mm -hmm. There is a voiceless Africate at the beginning and end of the word church. The corresponding voiced Africate occurs. Voiced Africate? Voiced Africate. Mm -hmm occurs at the beginning and end of judge. In all these sound in all these sounds the articulators tongue tip and blade or and blade tongue tip or blade and alveolar ridge come together for the stop and then for, a, for the stop for the stop and then come together for the stop and then mm -hmm. Instead of coming fully apart, separate, separate. Separate. This is a nonsense. Separate. She uh, yeah. separate. Separate. Everyone separate. Separate. Two Separate. 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 Okay, India is different. Separate only mm -hmm. slightly, so that a fricative is made at approximately the same place of articulation. Try to feel these movements in your own pronunciation of these words. All right, let's look at Africans. What kind of a sound did he just describe? You're familiar with the symbol from KK. So the first sound of church is a T and then an SH, is that right? This is really two sounds. It functions as one phoneme. 它的音位只有一个. Church, 那个ch,我们不能说t,sh,这样分开。我们观念里面这个是一个音而已。所以心理上, mentally, it's only one sound. But phonetically, it's two. This distinction is important because if you are studying phonology, do you think they're going to like the symbol in phonology? So in phonetics, I'm sorry, in phonology, we often use um, see hachek, 那个符号叫hachek. 这是从动物语言借来的一个术语。上面的那个V型的那个额外符号,那个diacritic. It's called a hot check. Okay, I'm not closing anything here. There we go. In phonology, they tend to prefer this symbol. Why? Because it looks like just one. 这当你联想到这是一个音还是两个音? 这个看起来像一个音还是两个音? One or two? One. one. It looks like one, right? That's why phonologists tend to prefer this symbol. Because for them, structurally, it's just one sound. Physically, if we measure it on a waveform or on a spectrogram or whatever, a spectrograph, So first we have a t, then it's a stop. 后面是 就是有先憋气，然后再放掉，再念，它是这样构成的一个音。So church，前面是有憋气，这表示前面就有个 stop. Try saying church. 读住的话就是那个 t 啊 t 产生的憋气. Church. Okay. So this is a special kind of sound. It's a composite. Sound. Composite, has a full And it is a stop plus a fricative. And that's why if you look at a table of sounds, they often don't include it. This manner of articulation. Anyway, it's a composite. 你就是stop plus fricative, 那就不需要africate这个类型. Do you understand what I'm saying? 所以很多系统它提都不会提到africate, 因为它是两个单纯的发音方式, 
构成的。All clear? 可以吗 ？Yes. All right. Stop plus fricative equals affricate. But it is convenient to have this name because we've got a couple of affricates in English. Besides ch, we also have j, right? Church, judge. Those are the two affricates in English. 有这个名称还蛮方便的。In Chinese, just put the names of the two manners of articulation together, and you get the Chinese name. What would it be? Say it louder. Go. In that's what it's called in Chinese. 色差音，一个色音加上一个差音，就等于一个 affricate 色差音。Okay, so you've got a handy name in Chinese that reminds you of its structure. Okay, go. Next, uh, I'm Sherry. Okay, words in English that start with a vowel in the spelling, like ache, oak, or、mm, are... the first one is eek. Oh, eek. Eek is a 拟声字 Eek. 看到老鼠了 Okay, or 蟑螂 maybe. Like eek, oak, or etc. 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 Ah, lots of native speakers make this mistake, and I think more people say it wrong than right. 我最近一直在注意哦，我听到的播音员几乎是百分之百都会念错，所以可能就认了。那讲错就错。嗯 ，it's et cetera. The Latin word for and is et, e t et. But you'll see or you'll hear people say et cetera. 把 k 放在前面。现在是 native speaker， 即使教育程度很好的。几乎都会念 etc. Okay, but please don't do it. I don't like it. <laughs> Everyone, etc. Et 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 Glottal, not glottal. Everyone, glottal. 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 Like a T is like a tap, and 像很像个很短的 D. Glottal, glottal. The glottis is the opening between your vocal folds. 声带当中是不是有个空隙 Right? 那个空隙是 your glottis. Glottis 是一个看不见的东西，它是空气组那个构成的。所以你的声带两片肉当中的那个空隙，那个是 glottis. Okay, and glottal stop in Chinese we've told you before is called 喉塞音，就是塞音 stop， 前面加喉咙的喉就好了。喉塞音 ，this is not an independent phoneme， 它不是一个独立的一个音素或者音位，它不是独立的。像 p t k b d g， 嗯、um, ，for example tie die t 跟 d 的差别会产生意思不同的字，可是 glottal stop 它只是会代替 t 而已。有时候会代替 t. For example, in hit me, hit, hit, hit. We don't say hit me. We say hit. 它是个 glottal stop 在那里。所以词尾音节尾有 t， 下个音是下个音节是子音开头的话，前面那个 t 会变成 glottal stop. That's the rule. Did y'all hear it? So hit 最后一个音本来是 t. Is that right? Me 是子音开头的。If we say those together quickly, 前面那个 t. 会变成 glottal stop. We don't say hit me. Usually, we say hit me. Hit. Uh, 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 uh. 要停，绝对是个塞音。不要说 hit me, hit me. That really sounds weird to our ears. 需要一个喉塞音 Hit me. Everyone try it. Okay. The T is fine. If you say hit me, it's correct. But in running speech, we usually use a glottal stop if a T comes right before. A consonant in another syllable. So hit me, hit. 就是舌尖都不要碰到什么东西 Hit me, hit me, hit me. Got it? Hit, 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 hit. 舌尖根本没有干嘛 Hit me. All right, that's a glottal stop. 喉舌音 Go on. This glottal catch sound isn't written in these words, and it's easy isn't to over. Isn't written in these words. 记得 these 也是虚词 Okay. Isn't written in these words. In these、uh, words. In these words. There. And it's easy to overlook. All right. It's easy to overlook. 因为没有独立的一个字母在 spelling 里面，我们没有特别写一个 glottal stop， 
，通常是一个 t， 写的是 t， 念的却是后舌音。OK。But in the sequence of two words in which the first word ends with a vowel and the second starts with the vowel, the glottal stop is sometimes obvious. For example, the phrase "flee east." A flee east is different from the word "fleeced." In that, the first has a glottal stop at the beginning of east. All right, 两个东西 glottal. glottal, good, beginning, beginning. good. Ah, okay, that's as far as we can go. So what they're saying here is flee east. 除了 glottal stop 可以 glottal stop 可以呃代替 t 之外 glottal stop 通常出现在母音开头的字的前面 So for example, east. 第一个音不是一、e, ，而是呃。East, everybody east. 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 That's all we have time for, but I have some work prepared for you. So、um, write this down. You've got an assignment, even though our computer has turned itself off. So for today, you will see. I hope to finish the chapter, which was impossible, and I kind of knew that at the time. We'll try on Wednesday, though I still doubt it.、Um, uh, It says to make a wasp waveform. 我们还没有正式正式开始分析 wave waveform. That's in the next page. If you look on page 18, you can see waveforms. I want you to make your own waveforms and start playing with it. This is a toy. Remember, I told you in phonetics we have lots of fun toys, and this is one of your first toys. 真的很好玩 This is a very simple、um, piece of software that you can download for free. And you can make four different kinds of displays. 我们现在只关心一个，就是 waveform. 所以你可以选，你可能有很多很多行行不同的东西，你只要选 waveform 就好了 And I want you to record these two sentences. My two boys know how to fish, and Tom saw nine wasps. 你现在不用抄 ，it's on the web page. It's in the textbook, and it's on the web page. So I want you to make waveforms for those two sentences. The reason I want you to do it now is so that you can use the audio together with the visual image to understand how waveforms work. Because you can make two different places. The middle of the waveform, you can see that it's like a mess. But if you put it in your ears, you can understand what the waveform is like. Do you understand what I mean? Okay. So for next time, although we didn't quite get to it, start early. Download Wasp. This is also from University College London. That's Professor John Wells University, and this is designed by Mark Huckvale. He's another amazing linguist, another amazing phonetician. You have to record two sounds, listen to it again, and then you can record the whole thing. 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 Uh, I want you to start working on the exercises. Because we're getting very fast, so start working on the exercises. We need to finish all of them before we take the test. Pages 25 to 32. 那些习题开始做，早一点开始做就会不会那么累。另外有另外一个新东西要要看 web pages. Page 11 and page 12要谈中文的罗马拼音问题。All right, so we got a bunch of stuff to do for next time. So,、uh, in addition to reviewing the text, download WASP, record these two sentences, and play with WASP. Make other waveforms with Chinese, for example. 用中文念念看，看它有什么波形，好玩，就是当做一个玩具在玩。Because learning is best when it's fun. Then start working on the exercises. 就是 chapter one 以后的 exercises. Start working on them. And in addition. I want you to read two web pages. You 不需要每个 link 都看得很细，可是稍微打开看一下就可以了。Page eleven, page twelve, Romanization one and two, and that is it for today. Any questions? Okay, we're set. We'll see you on Wednesday.